हेलो आई शशि भूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस चैनल इन टूडे सेशन वी विल टेक अप टू क्वेश्चन विच विल बेसिकली टेस्ट योर लॉजिकल रैशनल थिंकिंग एबिलिटी दीज आर नॉट एट ऑल डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू गेट द लॉजिक राइट हियर इज आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ सिस्टम कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ टू ब्लॉक्स कनेक्टेड थ्रू अ लाइट स्ट्रिंग दिस स्ट्रिंग इज पासिंग ओवर दी पुलिंग वन ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स हैज बीन प्लेस्ड ऑन द टेबल एंड द अदर वन इज सस्पेंडेड लाइक दिस द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन से इज इन द फिगर शोन देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन एंड द स्ट्रिंग इज लाइट द मास ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल एम इज मच मच लार्जर दैन मास ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक विच हैज बीन डिनोटेड बाई स्मॉल एम This system is released from this position shown in the figure. Here, this string is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. Will the lighter block A, uh, this is block A, and this is block B, will the lighter block A lift off the table immediately after the system is released? You are holding this system in rest in this particular position. you release it immediately after the release will this block leave the table will it take off from the table that is the question you have to answer think over it now pause the video give it a try on your own and thereafter of course you can look at my solution it is very much possible that many of you will produce brilliant solutions right uh for the sake of argument we will assume that we will assume that immediately after the system is released this block stays on the table we will assume that we will assume that this block stays on the table which means it will move it will accelerate along the table in the horizontal direction only if you release the system this is bound to go down and we are assuming right or wrong we will decide later but right now we are assuming that this block does not leave the table so it is also moving in horizontal direction this is moving in horizontal direction this one of course is going vertically downward this is our assumption but there is a key statement in the question that mass of this block is much much larger than small m maybe capital m is 2000 times larger than small m what does it mean actually hmm i haven't heard anything it simply means that this block will be falling down with an acceleration that will be pretty close to g almost g slightly less than g in fact the higher the ratio of these two masses capital m by m if it is 5000 or 10000 then definitely this block will have an acceleration that will be very 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 close to g because though there is no inertia literally there is no inertia that is objecting its motion so it will be in a state of free fall it is like you have tied a heavy block to a light piece of paper or something like that paper ball and you release it it will literally fall down without acceleration uh, without any hindrance with acceleration equal to g try to give a thought on this please think over it you will be able to realize that yes it is quite right to assume that this block falls down with an acceleration that is very close to g we will take it as g now okay let me take a new diagram this block is falling down with an acceleration g what about the acceleration of this block remember we are assuming that this block small block is moving on the table it is not leaving the table that is what we have assumed so if acceleration of this block is a in this direction then acceleration component of this block in this direction will be a cos 45 degree which is a by 
root 2 and I am assuming that those of you who are watching this video you are aware that in such a system if the string has to remain taut if the string has to remain taut then this acceleration should be equal to a by root 2. I hope that you have studied some constraint relations. So acceleration component of this block in this direction must be same as acceleration of this block which is totally along this string. Therefore a by root 2 must be equal to g. Right? Actually this acceleration represents the rate at which this velocity is growing. If this velocity is growing at a rate of 10 meter per second per second then the velocity component of this block in this direction should also grow at same rate. The rate at which this segment of the string is getting lengthened, its length is increasing, that is the rate at which this segment of the string is getting shortened. So at any instant of time, at any instant of time, if this is moving on the table, then velocity component of this block in this direction should be same as velocity of the uh, other block. So this acceleration is g, acceleration of this block is a, the component of this in this direction is a by root 2 which means a is root 2g. It looks fascinating, isn't it? Acceleration of this block I am saying is greater than g. Take a note of that. Is it possible? Think over it. Now, if the acceleration of this particular block is root 2g, if it is, then which force is responsible for providing this acceleration to this block? Obviously, this tension force has a component in this direction. Remember that the surface is smooth according to the question. So this T cos 45 degree, which is T by root 2, must be equal to mass of this block into its acceleration, which is root 2g which means T is equal to 2 mg. This tension is equal to 2 mg. This tension is equal to twice of small mg. It is not capital mg. It is only twice of small mg because this tension has a component in this direction and that is the only horizontal force acting on this small block and therefore T cos 45 degree must be equal to mass times acceleration. If you are lost by now, please let me remind you what we are doing. We are assuming that this block remains on the table. The moment it is left, this block will fall down with an acceleration g because practically there is no hindrance to its motion. It is under a state of free fall, this is very light compared to this. So if this block falls down with an acceleration g, then acceleration component of this block in this direction has to be equal to g. So a cos theta, a cos 45 has to be equal to g, which means a must be equal to root 2 g. Now, which force is responsible for this acceleration? T cos 45. So T cos 45 is mass times acceleration, which gives you T is equal to 2 mg. Now this same tension force has a vertical component which is again T sin 45 means T by root 2. How much is that force? How much is that force? The vertical component of tension T by root 2, how much is that? T by root 2 is root 2 mg. Oh my god. This vertical component is root 2 mg. Weight of this block is only mg. Can you see that? this force T by root 2, this is 1.41 mg. It is greater than mg actually. So the upward force acting on this block due to string tension is greater than mg. So obviously it will lift off. It cannot remain on the table. We assume that 
we assume that let us assume that this is traveling horizontally along the table with acceleration a but our this assumption does not hold any water it has been proven wrong if we assume that this is traveling at acceleration a in horizontal direction this has been proven wrong because if this is the case then the component of tension in vertical direction is certainly greater than mg which means block is going to lift off the table so our assumption that this is traveling horizontal with acceleration a is totally wrong so in fact we have proved that immediately after the system is released this block cannot stay on the table we have proved this fact by way of contradicting ourselves initially we assumed that let us take this block to be moving along the table it does not lift off the table but our very assumption that block is moving horizontal is being seriously challenged because in that case the up force t by root 2 is greater than mg if that is the case the block is simply going to jump off the table so our assumption which is the block is moving horizontally is totally wrong so as soon as you release this system one thing is sure that the block will jump off the table i hope you understood this logic the next question is also a bit logical only uh, and i would say that it is even easier than this but let us see if you are able to do it